Hello and welcome to Butts to Nuts, a movie review podcast hosted by me, Ben Charlesworth, and my brother, Scott Charlesworth. Oh, uh, yes. Scott, yeah. how are we doing? Uh, we're doing. We're, we're definitely doing. We're doing? We're doing things. We're, we're living, we're existing, but do we want to? Possibly not. i got to say, I'm pretty happy at the moment. Um, ben picked a magnificent movie for today's pick. Uh, well, this week's pick. It uh, rattled me to my bones. It rattled. It struck a chord. To it. Yeah. Keep uh, going. Keep going. Look, honestly, man, there's not much to say about this. I Before we do get into the movie, obviously when we watch movies together, it's pretty hectic. It's hectic. I haven't it's seen you hectic. this depressed ever. Um, not since the Great War. Not of, since uh, the Great War. And, uh, of 2019. Yes. I feel like I was sorry. Pesky. Let me just adjust this. That's all right. Because Should we have th- some goofy music whilst you adjust your thing. Oh, adjust me. I got it. It might be copyright though. All right. <laughs> now, um, I know the news cycle. It's filled with bad things. Yes. Before we get into the podcast, I just want to say that we do have some good news. We do have some good news on the we horizon. Do. Um. You know, obviously, there's a lot of terrible things out there, but it's good to get it's good to get reminded of the good it, stuff. It is good to get reminded of the good stuff. You need some good energy in times of trouble. Please hit me. Well, obviously, I am a Christian man. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going with this? And yet, as a humble, humble man, man that I Lord. am, man of the Lord, man of the Lord, I did partake in what's called sports betting and it's what the lord intended is for every every man it's it's I, I believe it's mark chapter 3 verse 16 it's every man must learn how to put on a five leg multi and here here they went i did fart as well by the way so that sticks that's okay that's revenge because you did i did fart yeah. earlier like 15 minutes ago and it was terrible yeah that stinks that smells like a martelli's fruit market (laughs) um (laughs) closed down and sad uh i did win so the point is i've made a lot of bets in my time i was sitting at a very hard negative yeah state of origin came um and so did I, and I came out with $108 profit. So I am now $40 to $50 back in the red. Sorry, in the black. I am in. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it all back on the pokies tonight, and we're going to double that money. We are going to double, just like the Lord intended. Amen. Got to have some good, hard, cold Christian news. Uh, well, thank you for that, Ben. That was that was very enlightening. Yeah. Um. Would you like to say the Grace. title of the uh, of this movie that we did watch today? It is it has taken so much energy out of me. I actually feel like that I've spent the last twenty four hours in a hot sauna or something. Yes, it uh, feels like it's drained the actual life out of me. We should cold plunge after this. Get the ice bucket, cold plunge. We should do a cold LeBron plunge. James ice bucket challenge. Yeah, that's it. Um. Okay, so last week we watched Ratatouille, two thousand seven, yes. fantastic movie, movie, just fantastic. It was, it was so good. And you know what? As a Christian man, I'm going to say it's a good movie. It is a good movie. Yeah, it is a good movie. Um, but we decided. I think it was Scott's pick today. He decided no. that he no. wanted to pick the ripoff movie from Brazil. This is entirely better. Uh, called Ratatouille. So, I think this was initially made famous by the YouTuber Danny Gonzalez. Yes, uh, yes it was. Five years ago, he did a video on it. Got like, I think it's got like 17 million views now. So, we thought, let's get a bit of Danny's clout. Let's, let's jump on that and bandwagon. And we'll jump on that train. Yeah. We did Ratatouille last week. So, what better time to do Ratatouille? I think we couldn't have done this any other time. No, this is actually the perfect time to do it. And I will never watch this movie ever again. So, you have p- chosen your time very wisely. Yeah. We should have... Ben's pick, by the way. Just really want to make that clear. Ben's pick. Yes. Ben's pick. Scott's pick. Scott picked this one. Scott picked this one. Ben's pick. Um, This movie should have been watched high. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. I I feel like that's the only way 
to truly enjoy uh, the genius of this movie, I would I say. I think there's a lot of hidden genius that hidden we genius. missed out on here because we were Because in I the didn't say it. I didn't pick up on it. No. There was no genius that I oh, saw. Oh, Jesus. You, with a sober mind. Yeah. I mean, I had a beer in the hand, but that didn't do anything. A young Henry's Newtowner. Mm, not shout sponsored. out big shout out big shout out would love to get sponsored uh um, read your um all right read your synopsis again you going no notes no notes i'm absolutely nude we're not going to pause this week like we did last week um, we didn't pause what are you talking about oh yeah true true it was a seamless cut okay marcel toying <laughs> a, a rat is the owner of one of the best restaurants in rio rio de janeiro Everyone raves about his food until a group of jealous rats plan to put an end to his success. What a great synopsis that is. And uh, we got this. We got Ratatouing. Um, First, firstly, Ben. Oh, yeah. Uh, w- the elephant in the room about this movie. Obviously, it's a low-budget movie. Mm. The animation is going to be shoddy, but... By God, this was <laughs> fucking horrible. This was bad, man. Nothing looked rendered properly. The character models were just woeful. I, I think- love how the humans portrayed in this movie were just legs. Uh, yeah. They were just legs. Good legs. Great legs. Some good looking legs there. Good looking legs. Hello. Wow. Oh, I just had a I just had a burger burp. Yeah. Breathe it over here. Uh, a worm and uh, what was it? Worm and cheeseburger. A worm or and cheddar cheeseburger. Yeah, wow. What the, about that? The dad was like, "Don't eat that. It's plastic." And the kid's like, "I'm partial to plastic." Yeah, I love this movie. I loved everything about it. I thought the characters looked brilliant. <laughs> okay, look when you compare the shading, the shading was so good. When you compare this movie to something shit like Ratatouille, obviously. It, it speaks for itself. This movie is what Ratatouille was based on. Um, you can see that Ratatouille took a lot of influence from Ratatouille. Uh, the name, the whole... Released in the same year. Released the in the same year, exactly. So, obviously, a ripoff of Ratatouille. Exactly. Obviously, Pixar, Big Wigs, you know, you know what Disney's like. I know, yeah. yeah. You know, Pinchin. That's how they got the Lion King story. Yeah, they stole it from... That's actually true, though. The Kimba, Kimba the Lion or whatever the Japanese... What was it? Yeah, we should investigate into that more. I know there's been plenty of YouTube videos and things mm. on that already, but we, next week. we should do a comparison. Next week. Ooh, compare Kimbra the Lion to the new Lion King. Yeah. Yeah. One of the most profitable movies ever. Did you know that? Featuring Beyonce. And John Favreau directed. Oh, my no. God. And, and um, How the Mighty Have Fallen. Not fallen. Don Cheadle. What's his name? I'm going to his concert next year. Um, Gambino. Yeah. Yeah, Donald Glover, not yeah. Don Cheadle. Yeah, yeah, Don Cheadle. There's a lot of Dons in this industry. Yeah, and I tell you what, his Don is good, mate. <laughs> oh, not sponsored, though. Oh. Not sponsored. <laughs> but how good... Hey, there wasn't any Don in this movie. Yeah, I tell you what. I didn't a... see any Don. There was no Don, but there were a couple of little female rats looking a bit weird. <laughs> Why were the character designs like that? Why do they walk like that, man? Why do the female rats have titties? Do female rats have titties? It happens a lot in these animated movies to to build the feminine look for a character, especially right. in early 2000s movies or late 2000s even. Mm. Uh, the character does... Actually, you know what? It's happened throughout animation history since... Period. Uh, yeah, period, yeah. Bambi didn't have boobs. She didn't have thick-ass hips. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked, man. There were, there were some rats with some thick-ass hips in this. Yeah. And not in the right way. No. It was fucked. I felt odd I felt looking at the um that pink rat when she would She was wink very at flirtatious the camera. with Marcel. I she was, wanted some Marcel. I didn't I didn't like it when she winked at the camera. I didn't like it when the cat winked at the camera. I felt uncomfortable. I mm. felt odd. And yet enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh no, Christian man. No, not really. Um, yeah, look, the characters were shocking. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about the cat. The cat was fucked. That was the most fucked thing in this entire movie. The, it looks like a cross between... I feel like they got an animation from for a frog or something, and they just put like a cat texture over the top of it. But also, That's, why is the cat running on its hind legs? Because Stupid. I reckon it's cheaper to animate it that way. You don't have to animate four legs. You're just animating two. 
Yeah, that's well, exactly why. Okay. And that's exactly why half the characters didn't move while they were talking. They were just standing there doing this. Yeah, that or, is true. You know, just like way flailing their arms around and things like that. And then when they did walk, it looked like they had a carrot up their ass. Just <laughs> look terrible. I, f- I feel like, okay. Yes, very shitty animation and stuff, but it would have gotten away with it if it hadn't a hilarious story. You know, if, mm. uh, not throwing too much shade, but Hoodwinked comes to mind. Is, yeah. a, is a movie where it's got a good story, but it's fucking atrocious animation. Yeah, it but looks it's terrible. funny. It, it like it really builds on it. Yeah, this. I mean, look, obviously didn't have good writers and stuff like that. If it had some funny writers that wanted to parody it a little bit, do a bit of uh, throw in some social commentary. Bit of adult humor in there. Yeah, yeah. That would have lifted its game. But uh, we got this. We got this. I mean, we didn't watch it in its native language. We probably should have watched it. We should have watched it in... Uh, I guess it was Spanish. Spanish, yeah. yeah. It was Spanish. Um, but we watched the English dub because that's all we could find on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So probably that's on us. That's why the voice acting was so god awful and i kept trying to turn look, it man, down man i'm gonna be honest you told me to I, turn it up at one point because i turned it down so low you turn it down oh, look i was like you know what this plot might thicken it might get better and it didn't it just it just got so so much worse one of my pet peeves about this movie and it's just a pet peeve in general is the squeaky voices mm. squeaky voice characters this movie was just littered with it that's all that was in there it mm. was just characters that had that high pitched squeaky voice. Yeah, it's so piercing to the ear. I hate it. Uh, I, I honestly hate it. This movie actually does make home. My ears cool. are bleeding under here. Well, I thought we had the volume on really loud, and I checked, and we only had it at like twenty. Yeah, I was like, oh my god. Well, YouTube this- is louder than streaming platforms. Oh, okay, Mr. Buddy. Sorry, Mr. Audio. To go Sorry, Mr. 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 Technical over here. So yeah, bloody, bloody Mr. Technical. Master, mate, eh? uh, I'll, just, I'll just put a bit of normalization on it, mate. Just that sorts of trick. I don't yeah, even... uh, just put a limiter on that. Uh, just squash it down. Master the track. No, thank you, mate. I fucking, I fucking put a bit of normalization on it, mate. Yeah. That's what I got uh, told. Put a little bit of compression on there. Makes the, the highs too highs and the lows too low. Don't don't normalize your tracks, people. That's what, I'm, that's what I got taught. Well, I actually got taught to normalize. And I, um, yeah. Yeah. That's some great knowledge right there. Well done. Well done. That's right. I won 100 bucks on sports bet. Coming in hot. Like the great Lord intended. Yep. Shout out. Shout out. Big shout out. Um, you know, there are many, many things in this movie. There were many things there in were this There were many, many things in this movie. I think a big... Food. There's that, food. Yeah. Cheese, which is also a food. They had worm burgers. Worm burgers. They had... Um, which is also a food. The, at the start, that dude mouse was traps. like... That had mouse traps. In I don't know movie. if it's Gorgonzola or a cabin bear. The whole 15-minute period at the beginning of the film was fucking pointless. Yeah, I, it added and nothing. I, look, I'm, I'm very happy, and it earns a nug for this. Wow. It earns a nug for this, for not being in the exact same location the entire time. Because I really thought this was just going to be a commentary on <laughs> rats bringing each other food and just complaining about shit and just going, oh, this is the best, best restaurant in town. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I disagree. I would have rathered 44 minutes of just them in the restaurant complaining about But what about, about the montage, bro? What about the montage that was repeated not twice, but three times <laughs> trying to mimic Mission Impossible putting on uh, the gear and stuff? Again... I just wanted them in the restaurant just arguing, just saying random shit. It made no sense, the start, and I was loving it. Yeah. Then it we started- all went downhill. As soon as the competitors left the restaurant, the competitor rats. Oh, I hated them. Yeah. I mean, I hated Marcel. I hated everyone, honestly. And then that, that one, that fat cunt called Greg. And he kept- <laughs> Fucking hell, Greg. Yeah, you fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and he kept saying precisely, piss off, you dog <laughs> it's not funny you're an idiot I, I this it was just it's just absolute brain rot i don't know i don't even know what to say it is this honestly makes instagram reels look like you know a dop- dopamine detox yeah seriously it was awful um i do actually have notes i do have notes do you have any standout moments from this film that actually caught you by surprise um, anything that actually made you go wow that was a little bit okay. Well, yeah, probably the suit up scene. Let's talk about that. Okay, the montage. Yeah. 
they kept running for some reason. Why they have to run in the montage? Hey man, they got to get fit. You know, it's Thursday night. They're going out to steal some food from the the human kitchen. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they they got to get fit. You know, got to pump some iron, get the blood pumping. Yeah, get those rat legs going, little little cheeky dogs. Honestly, that 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 was probably my favorite part of the movie, just because of how just ridiculous it was. Yeah. If we want to talk about ridiculous, what about when the aristocrat rats started dancing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. let's scare the humans, but before let's do like a <laughs> weird sort of Egyptian, like walk like an Egyptian sort of dance move. Like yeah. what the fuck are you guys doing? I don't know. I just, uh, <laughs> um, had they, uh, yeah, no, I said that. I'm just trying to read my notes here. Um, the spoon, in the kitchen, where he just keeps stirring. Every yeah. time we cross to the kitchen, the Marcel's just stirring I'll, a pot. I love it how he doesn't have any uh, fantastic kitchen setup. It's just like he's just stirring, stirring some shit out of a can. And it's just like, yeah, you know, we're making burgers out of this can. We're just stirring soup. He never did anything else but stir out of that fucking can. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, man. They ne- Maybe they- he just... Marcel's just got... He's just got the ability. He can just cook. With liquid. Just by stirring. Yeah. Also, what else are they putting strawberries in? And how did that strawberry that they stole from the human kitchen last a whole week? Look, I feel like we're... The fact that we're diving so deep <laughs> to look into the the logic of this movie, it just shows how much it's tortured our minds from watching it. <laughs> it's so bad. It's bro. so bad. Is there... Is there anything that you found like why not? Let's just let's chuck a trivia thing in right now. Is there anything you found about this movie that was like, wow, didn't expect that? Yeah. Um when we were sort of like we thought we were pretty far through the movie. Yeah. And then um our cousin and auntie dropped round to say hi. When oh we yeah. Paused the movie. Yeah, yeah. Actually um, that was And we thought we were nearly done with it and we realized we we're only nineteen minutes into the movie. Yeah. That was probably where I was like, Oh wow. This is fucked. Yeah. And then they said, what are you watching? And we're like, oh, well, we're watching a Ratatouille ripoff called Ratatouille. And then our auntie was like, oh, surely you're not going to keep watching that. And we said, no, for the podcast, we will. We must. And when we get about 13 views on this video after two years, we will regret that. (laughs) Yeah. Because we could have watched something good, but We we wasted 44 minutes of our lives. Yeah. We could have watched Hereditary. We could have. We could have. The fuck that. Fuck, fuck that. watching Hereditary. That'd yeah. be stupid. Oh, man, that'd be a ridiculous idea. I can't believe that no, we would even think of that idea. In all seriousness, in all, in all seriousness mm. we're not watching Hereditary for a long while because we watched Midsummer recently. Mm. Well, episode 30-ish. Go uh, back and listen to Midsummer. Great Ari episode. Aster. Ari Aster. Yeah. Incredible director. Yeah. Uh, eventually, we get to Bo is Afraid as well. We wanted to, you know... You know what? Sure. I'm interested to watch that movie. Yeah. I am... Let's actually just talk about Bo is Afraid That lo- That trailer was fucking psychedelic as shit. Like that. And it, it didn't perform well. It didn't perform it well. It didn't perform well. Which is uh, surprising seeing as it's uh, got Joaquin in it. Yeah. Yeah. I call him jo- Joquin. Joquin. Yeah. Joquin Phoenix. Joquin. Joaquin Phoenix. Um, Listen, let me let me do a quick fire. Can we? All right, before you quick fire, comparison to Home, which was a, a notorious film. That yes, a, yes, of our podcast reviews. Go back and listen. We hated Home. It was a zero. It DreamWorks a, Home. DreamWorks Home. Worst movie ever created. Uh, that, that was a zero. We did give that, that a was zero. a zero. This movie was still better than that. You reckon? This movie was still better than Home. Oh, I, I don't know. And that's fucking saying something. I don't know. Nah, man. Home is like clawing your eyes. It's like removing, I don't know, just flailing your skin or something I like feel like that. this is like the getting a syringe of acid and shoving it in your dick hole. Yeah. And just spraying that shit. Nah, it it's leaks. more like a, um, a bottle of sriracha down there. Mm. Yeah. Or it's kind of like getting a Carolina Reaper. And then just rubbing that shit on your asshole. Yeah, yeah. And you can have like the bad. Xbox Red Ring of Death. Yep. And it just stays there for 16 hours and gets chafed and sad. That sounds like a really, uh, sounds like a fun time. Honestly, that would be good. <laughs> Next podcast, we're doing, we're rubbing Carolina Reapers on our assholes. Yes, yes. Um, 
Fuck, this has destroyed us, man. This, is, is ruined. this isn't a good episode. It's ruined me. It's not a good episode either. This is fucked. It's not a good... Like, this is not entertaining. No. Absolutely I'll not. I'll do a quick, quick fire. fire. Please, quick give fire. me a quick fire. Uh, what was the point of the rat who had a moustache? One of the aristocrats. And then in one scene, he just randomly takes it off and then it's back. No, I like that. I did like you that. You like that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> what about when uh, that fat, stupid rat... Yeah. Um, just saying the rat. Yeah. I just didn't like the rats. The character design. It's all good. Um, don't get at me. Oh, I didn't know where you were going with that just then. my goddamn mind. Um, where he knocks down the spoon when they first go into the human kitchen and he knocks down the spoon and then they go back to the human kitchen again and the spoon is just like back to where it was, like up on top of the jar. Just next re- scene, reusing shots. Next scene, it's knocked over. Yeah. But you don't see him knock it over. So does that mean he knocked it over twice because he's that clumsy? Or the am- animator's that lazy, they just reuse the same shot? You know what? Maybe he did knock off the spoon and he's like, I'll put it back up here because I know I'm going to knock it over again and that'll be funny. Well, they knocked this movie out of the park is what I'm saying. Yeah, home run, honestly. Um... The aristocrat rats getting sent to the laboratory. That's pretty funny at the end. And then yeah. they're like, oh, no, don't worry. They take good care of him in the laboratory. Is that what happened? I tuned out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah the <laughs> no, two, I actually don't remember that. The two aristocrat rats with the swords. The yes. The toothpicks who were like, we're going to steal your cheese. Give me your cheese. Bro, they could have just gone up onto the table, like the guy said, and taken some cheese and gone, hey, you know what? You want to be business partners? Because we'll get some stuff. You'll get some stuff. We'll both have successful restaurants. That's true. That are, no. They got sent to a laboratory. Mm. You know what I just realized? The um, the rat who left the restaurant unlocked. We never see him after he left it unlocked. No. That, that we waiter. Do. We do see him. We do? In the final scene when they're all like, yay. All oh, right. <laughs> and like uh, Marcel's up there. He's stirring his little pot. He's got his spoon in the can and he's stirring it around and then there's the waiter and he's like, I didn't do anything wrong. Yes, you did. You fucked up the entire movie, bro. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, it's all his fault. Uh, this studio sucks and the studio, uh, oh, I just had it and now it's gone. Doesn't matter. Should it's we just quite, get into real shit? It's quite dark in here, isn't it? It just got dark, yeah. That's going to wow. affect the video. No, it's a bit of ambience. It is a bit of ambience. It's a bit of ambience. Uh, video Brinquedo is the studio. They've done many, many good films. Oh, is this one of those... Stu- this is one of those studios that does a knockoff of every Pixar movie, right? Not even. They've done The Little Panda Fighter. Um, knockoff of Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. Actually, let's right. play a game. Try and guess what the knockoff is. Like, oh, I like this. Uh, yeah. Uh, knockoff trivia. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, this is the studio. Um, Video Brinquedo. They've also done What's Up? Balloon to the rescue. Well, that's easy. That's up. Correct. They've done little cars in the great race. So obviously cars. Correct. <laughs> um, I mean, if it has the name of the other movie in the name, <laughs> it, 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 it give me a hard one. Little B. I mean, the B movie. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, okay. This one's pretty hard. We've got Gladder Formers. Wow, I wonder what that one could be. It's Transformers. Oh, I thought it was Gladiator. Uh, we've got Tiny Robots. That's actually stumped me. Mm. Oh, is it just robots? Yeah, it's just robots. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, that's a good... We should watch that for the podcast. Next week. I love that movie. Next week, we'll watch it. Yeah, we'll watch that next week. Definitely not Hereditary, which we're going to watch um, months and months away. Um, all right, this one's the last one I'll do. It's a hard one. The Little Cars 2 in Rotopolis Adventures. Mm. Yeah, I'm stumped. I don't know what that one it's is. Cars 2. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Should we get into some letterbox? Yeah. It's trivia first. That's Please. how we do it. All right. <laughs> trivia. Um, it's one of that studio's most infamous films, Video Brinquedo. Yeah. You know what? I, I bet it's got a cult following now that heaps of people have given it attention. Yeah. I mean, it does have almost 400,000 views on YouTube. Mm. So, yeah. Pretty good. But... I don't. I doubt that that studio is making any money from that because uh, it's off a private YouTube channel, right? Yeah, it's called L. L. So I don't know if that's the same studio. I'm surprised they haven't gotten copyright on that. They probably would have got copyright for the movie. So yeah, it's like fine. Well, that's why there's no ads on it. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not of monetized. Course. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
the trivia is shit for this movie. Of course. Re- released I mean, a- what are you going to find? It's, yeah. just, it's made in Brazil. Made in Brazil. Yeah. And released to capitalize on Ratatouille, obviously. Made famous by um, Danny Gonzalez. So that was a good one. Thank you. Letterbox time? Yeah, please. I'm interested to hear what the people think because I'm sure they think very similar or completely the opposite. They do. It's Letterbox. Um, here's one from the Seed Bearer. It's a big review, so I won't read it all. I won't read it all, but I'll read a little bit. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand ratatouille. Mm. The humor is extremely subtle. Without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head. There is also Marcel Tong's nihilistic outlook, which is deftly woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from Naradanya Volya literature. I've definitely butchered that name. Yeah. Um, then he goes on and just talks about how people are idiots if you don't understand this. Greg's catchphrase precisely is um, just such a strong catchphrase. Yeah, yeah, really speaks to the audience. And uh, he ends it off by saying, um, I'm smirking right now just imagining one of those uh, simpletons searching their heads in confusion as Michael Gabriel's genius wit unfolds itself onto their television screens. What fools, how I pity them. Half a star from the seed bearer. So <laughs> he wrote all of that to give it half a star. You know what? Big respect. Big, big respect. He can take my seed. From Lindsay. Uh, why did the girl rats have titties? Half a star. I mean, Well, there we go. It's, uh, it's brought up again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Lindsay. Thank you. And Sam... Every time I have intercourse, I have to watch Ratatouille. Three stars. So. <laughs> it's one out of ten. It's, it's one out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. One out of ten for me too. So, yep. This is the end of the episode. Thank you for listening to the Butts to Nuts podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast and want to support us, you can do any number of these three things. Number one. Tell a friend, a family member, or even a random person off the street to listen to our podcast. Number two. Leave a review. The higher, the better. Number three. Follow and support us on our social media platforms, being Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all with the usernames Butts to Nuts. Again, thank you for listening. See you next week.